we get to talk F1. Not every uh, week we've got to do that, and now as we're into 2023, something we're looking forward to. Looks like Red Bull has early leg up on everybody, and Verstappen won here last year. It was kind of a Red Bull uh, sandwich with Ferrari last year when um, Perez got on the pole, Verstappen started fourth, and between them were the Ferrari cars. Ended up the same kind of sandwich at the end with Verstappen taking home the win, Perez finishing fourth, and the two Ferraris in between. So are Ferrari, is Ferrari going to kind of work out their issues that we saw early on and kind of progress into a little bit more of what we saw early on last year with Leclerc being kind of established early? He looked strong early in the season last year and was really in, in a strong position to – take home a championship and it just faded away real quick yeah ferrari just uh, they had so many issues and it looks like they're kind of starting the season off with similar issues i don't know if we're gonna get another solid fight i think really it's 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 hard it's it blows my mind to say this but yeah after one race it's it looks like red bull's championship to lose um and both the drivers and the constructors Long season, a lot of things can happen. It doesn't take that many races, you know, bad luck for Verstappen to now be back in the fight. I mean, obviously, he's only got a few points lead right now because it's just one race. But if he stacks these ones early, obviously, it, it it's over for everyone. I, it'll be interesting to see if, if Mercedes or anybody else can maybe Aston Martin. If Aston they can, Martin looks strong. I'm excited to see if Alonso can step up because... We need some more added teams to the mix to make this a more exciting week-to-week bouncing back and forth. That's what I'm here for. I want to see not one team dominate. We can we can do that whenever we want. It's just being able to see that back and forth, the dramatics of it play out across the globe every week. That's what a lot of people tuned in for, and I think it's there. We saw that progression from Aston Martin last week. Is it continue? That's the thing yeah, that we have to watch. Yeah, he was still, what, like 30 seconds behind Verstappen? Something ridiculous like that. Uh, we'll see if that's going to be par for the course. It's just one race. You can't say that that's how everything's going to be, but that's certainly how and it Friday looks. And Friday we get fir- or P1 and P2, so we'll get to see some practice and get to understand a little bit more of the dynamics heading into this race, how everybody kind of shakes out. And then Saturday I think practice the third practice takes place in qualifying. So still a lot to unfold and unpack before we really understand who's laying where, but it's the season's here. Yeah, and, We're and they had a whole week, an extra week, to be able to work on these cars, get them kind of dialed in, make some changes. So I do think that this race, not only with it just being a totally different type of circuit, uh, it will. we won't see the same sort of things. We will see some teams who improved. Uh, hopefully McLaren would be one of those teams because they had an awful showing uh, to start the season. But really, it's so early, it's it's – truly too early to make solid predictions right now because a lot can change during the course of an f1 season um hopefully for some of these teams that happens really soon because they do not look good if you like that clip check out the full audio version of that episode on all the major podcasting platforms if videos are more your thing check out the full episode on losinggrippodcast.com